Now let's talk about the different types of CPU coolers. There are actually three categories of CPU coolers. We have air coolers, we have liquid coolers, and we also have low profile coolers. Each category has its own strengths and weaknesses. So let's break them down. Air coolers make use of metal heat sinks and fan to dissipate heat. The heat sink absorbs heat from the CPU while the fans blow air over the heat sink to cool it down. Air coolers are affordable and widely available they are easy to install and maintain. They are also reliable and durable. On the downside, they can be bulky in size, thereby obstructing access to other components. They are also less effective for extreme cooling needs, for example, overclocking. And they are best for general use, budget builds, and moderate gaming. The second category we have is the liquid cooling systems or all-in-one coolers. They make use of a liquid coolant to absorb heat that is generated by the CPU. The liquid then circulates through a pump, tubes, and a radiator, where fans are connected to help dissipate the heat generated. All-in-one liquid coolers are more efficient at cooling, especially in extreme cases like overclocking. They have a compact design that is built around the CPU, thereby freeing up space for access to other components on your motherboard. They're usually more expensive, they have a complex installation process, and there's also the risk of coolant leakage, although it's rare amongst modern all-in-one coolers. They are usually best for workstations, high-performance gaming, and overclocking. And lastly, we have the low-profile coolers. These are compact versions that are built for small form factor PC build, where space is limited. 